Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So now we are on part four of my shoe collection. We're going to start off with these little Timu heels. So these are actually a Latin ballroom heel. I believe that's what they called it. Um, these are super cute. They have a very soft sole. The sole is very flexible. Of course, it has to be for dancers. And I think that's why I love these so much. I, I've only had them a very short time. And I've been wearing them around the house because I want to see if this is a fluke or if it's a real thing. But these are under $15, so I don't know what the longevity is going to be of these. But for $15, if I could get, you know, several wear times out of them, I think will be good. But these are super comfortable to wear. They they look really cute. Um, very sparkly, as you can see. So, I like I said, I've been wanting to add to my collection shorter heeled heels <laughs> so that way when i'm at events i don't look so tall compared to everybody else so let's say breath i got another pair from timu so this is a different style this reminds me of like an art deco look very retro looking if you ask me but yeah i wanted i want heels that i'd be able to walk around in all day they don't kill my feet and i don't look like the jolly green giant walking around everywhere so that's why I took a bet on these, and I'm glad I did. I wore these around the house for about four hours the other day doing just housework, and they did not hurt my feet at all. They felt like I was wearing flats. I, like I said, I, I think it's because of the flexibility of the sole. It's not rigid. Your shoe moves around with your foot, so you just don't feel the pain. So that's why I definitely got to invest in more, I guarantee you. <laughs> Because, yeah, these have, these are great. Especially if you're going to do a lot of walking. If you don't want the height. If you're tall like me. These would be perfect. They'd still give you a dressy look. You know, without the pain of heels. And all that jazz. Super cute. But I would recommend to go down the size of these. I don't know if they automatically run large in the size. Or if it's just the T-boot thing. But both of these... Are a little too big and I got them both at a size 10 which that's the US size 10 and they are just too big so I need to go down to either a nine and a half or a nine the next time I order to try to get them to fit my foot just a little bit better not saying that they don't fit good they're just a little bit long but other than that I'm getting more because these are super cute so here's the first of comfortable pair of heels <laughs> these are the Betty Page had them for years they are super cute glittery um but i will tell you these are only for bedroom or taking photos because you ain't gonna walk around in these very long or at least i can't and i will just add a side note here i hurt my foot really bad last week i was out for a walk just not paying attention fell in a hole and you, yeah well anyways so my foot is hurt that's why i did do the video last week so I'm kind of hobbling around in these shoes, as I can't, <laughs> as you can see, I'm stumbling because my foot still hurt. But these are just hard to walk in, even if your foot ain't hurt. Um, there is no platform at the footbed, so it feels like you're falling forward. That's the momentum you get. Plus, having that skinny heel, um, the stiletto heel, these are just really uncomfortable to walk in. They're really hard to walk in, but oh, they are super sexy. That's for sure. And here's another pair of hard to walk in. You just better be laying on your back type of shoes. <laughs> these are the Liliana. Um, these are super old too. I've had this these for years, but they look so good in pictures. Um, but no, you can't hardly walk in these damn things at all. The super skinny heel and the footbed of these are super narrow. So you ain't got much room for your foot to plant on the ground. So I was really babying <laughs> taking small steps of these. You have to take small steps of these. You cannot be jogging in a marathon with these on. But they are really cute. Like I said, they work great for photos. But where to be person, I am just too tall. I am well over six foot of these. And when I'm lined up against girls that are average size, it just looks weird. And I've been asked before where it heals if I'm a man because I'm just so tall. And, of course, I'm not a man. And it, it, I guess why would it hurt if I was? But, like I said, I've been asked before if I was a dude because I'm just so tall. 
So that's why I'm trying to knock my heel size down whenever I'm out in public and just wear those for photos. So these are the pleasers and I do like these a lot um, out of all my stripper heels. These are the most comfortable, the easiest to wear, but they're still a bitch to walk in. I'll tell you that. You you have to be a professional to walk in these. Um, I don't know what you call them, heel walker, <laughs> a heel enthusiast, because they are hard to walk in too. So these are one of those that you either want to be in a photo or in the bed with them because, yeah, they are a little tough. Um, they do run small in size, but I think that's for the purpose of keeping them on your feet since they are a mule. I did get these in a size 10, which, I mean, it fits my foot perfectly, but that's just something to keep in mind if you ever buy the pleasers. But, oh man, they're a good shoe, and they are built really good. So, coming off the pleaser brand, we have the Ellie's. This is the Ellie brand, and like I said, it's a brand for pleasers. These are super old. When I first started pit up, I got these, and uh, that had to be well over 10 years ago. So, these are probably totally out of style by now, these chunky Mary Janes. But these are so easy to walk in. I've wore these before at contests, and photos and like I said they've got a lot of wear and tear on them uh, but they're so easy to walk in like I said they're probably out of style by now but I I love them I if I need a good red heel that's easy to walk in I grab these and they were well worth the money they have held up really well like I said I've wore these a lot as a matter of fact I'm leaving dirt all over the floor because I, I the last place I wore them apparently was dirty so they were they're great heel. So I, I would suggest if you want a really good heel, these high heels that are um, kind of unique, different, I would go with the Ellie brand or the Pleasers. If Betty Page shoes are still around, I would check out that because, like I said, they all make a really good shoe that has a really good longevity, a good quality for a reasonable price. All these shoes, of course, this was like, five, ten years ago, <laughs> they were well under $30, but even if you had to pay a little bit more, these shoes would still be worth it. So this is all my heels so far. So we will do part five and it'll be all my flats coming up. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, I will see you guys really soon. Love y'all. Bye.